Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Inside Movies Galore. I'm David Streggy, um, and uh, here I have another review for you uh, from a film called Bitch Slap, uh, which is directed by uh, Rick Jacobson, who has evidently done some directorial work on Hercules, and uh, he has definitely had some uh, uh, some work in the um, in the Americanized uh, ninja movies, uh, working with Don Wilson uh, on Blood Fist and a few vampire uh, fil uh, uh, films related, but definitely in the action genre. Um, and I'm quite surprised by how bad some of the reviews are on this film in the metacritic in the metacritical um area i mean variety unfunny attempt to satirically uh recycle cliches and uh, poses passed off as character death all the backstabbing shifting alliances and dark motives are held together by adolescent innuendo laden dialogue and thick uh, sapphic overtones san francisco chronicle bitch slap is garbage it's self-aware garbage garbage that explored uh, blurs and celebrates in postmodern fashion precisely what it means to be garbage but it doesn't make it stink any less holy crap i'm ashamed to think that any of these uh, 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 these critic places even exist when they can't enjoy a film like this. this I had a lot of fun with this film. Uh, first of all, we have Michael Hurst, who, as we know, he starred as Eolus in uh, Hercules, The Legendary Journeys. And he plays this kingpin that he's an asshole. Uh, you know, and evidently he he is he's got these diamonds that um, we uh, we have three uh, three very beautiful uh, women by the name of Trixie Helen Merrill, played by Julia Both, Aaron Cummings, and guards, and we also have Kevin Sarbo. Uh, 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 also, uh, he is behind. Uh, the character of Hell, who is played by Aaron Cummins, and she is like this super agent that uh, has been uh, charged to go after uh, an entirely different um, device in order to run this um drug ring uh, uh, of sorts so um we have three th uh, uh, we definitely have a storyline here a lot of a lot of it is uh done with uh, green fe uh, females ultimately end up at this uh white trash looking tra uh, trailer but the film starts out very pornographic and you definitely see a lot of slow camera shots that uh, accentuate the, uh, their bosoms to a million in diamonds so that the, uh, they can all settle a score out, uh, outside and get the hell away from all, uh, all of this. And um, so what's interesting is that there is a relationship between hell and hands of affected because, uh, because throughout the whole film, you saw Trixie being this, you know, victim where, in fact, she ended up being like this whole, uh, 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 the mastermind behind it all. And uh, I like that about it. It was definitely uh, Quentin Tino esque, uh, esque um, in nature and uh, it, and uh, it was just, just a lot of fun. It, it, I I enjoyed the eye candy. Um, 
I, I, the acting, the over-the-top acting, de uh, definitely, on all accounts. And I thought that the film was very action-filmed and entertaining. Uh, I, mean, I cannot lie. This was a, a very fun film, and I enjoyed it. There were... The only negativity that I can really say is that is that there were moments where uh, where they where uh, where they could have cut out of films like uh, Faster uh, Faster uh, Pussycat um, uh, from Russ Mayer or, or something of that nature or some film of that nature. So um, I was entertained. I absolutely loved it but uh that's my opinion you don't have to love it uh, uh, uh it's a film you either uh, uh, have to love or hate um and I, I know that it's gotten a little bit of both uh so so in any case if you like my description of this, this uh, 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 film at all um but uh, I definitely liked the cameos of Michael Hurst and Kevin Zarbo in here either, even though I would have liked to have seen Kevin Zarbo's character. As you watch 